we are here to protect this water and land and sacred sites from the Dakota Access Pipeline. Water is sacred. For us, it's a matter of respecting Mother Earth, respecting water, respecting the land and our sacred places, as well as drinking water for the 16 million people who depend on the Missouri River. This pipeline is a symptom of fat taker disease. Greed must be satisfied no matter the cost to humanity, to the future. So we came here to protect the water and we have been doing actions to stop construction. Many people have been arrested. The security firms hired by the pipeline have brought attack dogs against us. And we know that they will accelerate their protection. The government will permit a corporation to lay a pipeline and when the everyday citizen stands up to say, no, you're not coming through our backyard, then the law in this country allows for that corporation to hire armed guards with dogs and pepper spray so they can push us back to clear the way for the corporation bulldozers and excavators to move forward. To the west are the sacred sites. 82 are visible from the road and there are hundreds more back along the pipeline corridor and the actual pipes are in place. They've been welded together and they're just waiting now to be trenched into the earth and our prayers are strong. Our people at camp are strong. There's about 4,000 of us there. And every day, every night, we pray for Mother Earth. We pray for the strength and the courage and the humility to do whatever it is that we have to do. The help that we all need here in this camp, we need people to come who are willing to stop the Dakota Access Pipeline. We need people to come to camp to support those of us who are willing to put our bodies in front of these machines. If this pipeline goes through, that pipeline will break. And for that contaminant to get into this drinking water, it's going to be catastrophic, not only to this country, but to the world. And we call upon water protectors and people to support us to come here from all over the world, come here ready to help. This is not just a Standing Rock issue. It's not just a Lakota issue. It's not just a so-called Great Sioux Nation issue. It's not just an American issue. This truly is an issue of protecting Mother Earth. So I would like to encourage all human beings, not just the Native nations in this country, to stand up for this sacred water, to stand up against corporations, to stand up against the greed of the fat taker. Water is finite. There is no more water on Mother Earth, but there are alternatives to gas and to oil and to fracking and to uranium. And people need to ask themselves, are you willing to protect the Missouri River for yourself, your coming generations, and the future of the planet? And there are 4,000 people in our camp who are here to protect water. Our camp is open to other water protectors. Take a deep breath, be strong, take courage, and come stand with us to protect sacred water.